What's up guys? So today's video is going to be a little different. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about something, something that has been on my mind, uh, that has been really built up in my heart for a while that's really been holding me down and I, I haven't been able to like really understand what it was until just the other day um, and I was like I, I gotta tell you I've gotta open myself up to you and, and just let you know what's going on with me and, and, and everything else that I'm doing. So what is this? What am I talking about? Um, I am having an online identity crisis. Kind of. Not not in like the real world. Like me, I'm not having an identity crisis. I know who I am. I know where I'm going. I know where my heart is. But I realize that online there are so many versions of me floating around that nobody knows what I really am. Does that, does that make sense? Okay, so the other day, <laughs> this is what brought this up. The other day I was teaching a class at Oklahoma State uh, because I am now uh, an adjunct professor at Oklahoma State University. Um, I teach social media and stuff, but um, I, I was teaching this class and one of my students said, uh, they asked me the question, they said, what do you do when a trend stops working? What do you do? Like, how do you move on? When do you know how, when to stop? And I, I kind of took that as uh, a little more personally because, you know, everything here has been so personal. I said, well, if something doesn't work, I just move on. But sometimes things never work, but I love it, so I continue doing it. And I explained it like this. I'm going to try to rephrase what it was that, that I told them. I said, you know, when I started Live Each Day slash Dude Like Hello, whatever this is, I don't know what you'd want to call it, but when I started this channel, I started it because I needed somewhere to express myself more. I was kind of getting to the point in my career where uh, SMP Films, um, there, there was like a legal battle that was happening so I couldn't really make videos there and it really hurt my heart and I needed somewhere else to go. And um, I was also having a lot of uh, personal struggles. Um, you know, I had went through uh, a lot of just yeah, personal problems, and uh, I won't go too far into that. Maybe someday I'll write a book about it, but not right now. Uh, and um, I used uh, Dude Like Hella back then, which was Live Each Day back then. I used this uh, as a way to look at myself, to look back, to, to understand who I am and where I'm going and, and all of this stuff. And it's interesting because, like, for so many years before I started video blogging, I didn't like video blogs. I thought they were weird. I was like, I don't want to share a piece myself. So what I ended up doing early on was amplifying the most fun version of myself that I knew that I thought people would enjoy. And it, it was weird because like I almost became a character and I wasn't. It was really me. It was just like this little tiny part of me amplified as if it was all of me. And uh, I was loud. I was obnoxious. That's where the goodbye comes from. That's not normal. You don't say that to anybody, but that was like, that was who I became. And um, anyway, as time went on, um, you know, I started to open up a little bit more and, and, and I would share really personal things about myself, which made me connect with a lot of you uh, on, a, on a level that I never expected to have, uh, you know, because again, before dude like hella this vlog channel <laughs> i was just doing like short films and i really i never really shared the personal sides of me i just told stories about them and let people decipher what they thought about the stories and the, you know things that i would create anyway um you know then as time moved on and, and and my personal struggles became a lot more evident in the videos um things just really kind of spiraled in this weird direction and and uh, you guys early on before Alaska saw me go through a lot of depression and, and just a lot of uh, strange things that were, um, that, that life needed me to go through in order to be who I am today. But uh, anyway, so a lot of people enjoyed that era of me, of my life, of, of dude like Hella, because I was crazy and then and, and it was fun. I admit, I, I had fun with it too. But then when I got away from that and I became more understanding of who I was and I started getting depressed. Some people started connecting with me at that point. And then as I, you know, met Kristen and then I started to change again and then I left Los Angeles and, and went with her to Alaska, um, everything changed again. And then I became more of the real me than I had ever been. And even then I was still trying to figure out like, who am I? Like I was still stuck in this phase of like, I called it being hosty where I felt like I was really like, 
I have to talk to the camera like this and always have it at this angle. And I don't know, it was like, it was uh, like, like you could tell in real life when I was talking to a camera versus when I was talking like to a person, you know, and that, that's what I call hosty was when I had started putting it on. Like right now, I don't feel hosty at all because it's honestly, it's been a while since I've talked to a camera so I can just talk to you. Plus I feel like right now, for some reason, you're a person and you're actually right there because I haven't talked to you in so long. When you get away from daily vlogs after doing it for a long time, like, you can reconnect. It's weird, like, anyway. So, you know, I, I became the Alaskan guy. And then, of course, Kristen and I, we had a baby, uh, Chell, and then I became a dad. And I wasn't adv adventuring as much, and I wasn't doing all these other things. But also, what was happening in that time was that... Um, I had a new audience because of Alaska. You know, a lot of people were watching me because they wanted to see me go out in those Alaskan adventures and, and live that off the grid lifestyle that I know a lot of people, um, you know, dream about because it is really cool. Uh, but then when I became a dad, we had this whole new audience because people wanted to see the baby, you know, uh, more so women were coming in to see Kristen and, and what she was going through. And, and there was a lot, it was just this huge change. And, and as, as a dad, it, it, like mentally I was I was different you know like I wanted to be the best dad I wanted to be there and I didn't want to be that hosty um, you know guy that that I had been and I definitely didn't want to be the crazy one that I knew uh, I was you know not too long before then um, I want I wanted to find myself more and, and be more me so I shared my life and I was doing all that stuff which started to cause a lot of negativity um, in my videos uh, you know, people, again, complaining and, and getting angry because they wanted this or that, but not the family thing, and they were tired of babies, and, and I understand that. Like, not everybody's into the babies and, and stuff, but that was my life, you know? Time moved on. Um, eventually, we, uh, we left Alaska, not because we hated it. I loved Alaska. Um, but more so we were just so far away from family. We wanted to be around other people, you know, <laughs> like, like we had friends in Alaska and it was great and everything was amazing, but it was just hard, you know, and, and we wanted to be fam family is just huge for us. It's, it's super huge. Anyway, we got to Oklahoma and, uh, a lot of people were very, very angry with us. Uh, gosh, we, we got so much negativity. I got so much negativity again, because we left Alaska and now the Alaska lovers were just like, you need to go back to doing this. And then the old dude like hella people are like, what is this? You're, you're live each day now. You're not even dude like hella, which caused uh, a lot of heartbreak in me because a lot of people who are sharing their stories about how they used to watch me were now turning their backs on me saying they didn't like my life decisions and all these other things, which, which really hurt me on, on a really personal level. And, um, I've just, so many struggles happened. So I was in this weird balance of, trying to trying to to make everybody happy when nothing i could do could make anybody happy it seemed like i will not anybody like i could do this video and this video made this this part of the audience happy and then i did this one and this part of the audience was happy but then the rest were really unhappy and and there was like a very small number of people that loved everything and thank you thank you for that positivity and support but like it's it, it, it just got to be so hard that like sharing my life became more of a chore and it wasn't fun anymore because like the last thing I've ever wanted to do being here on YouTube was make somebody unhappy or make somebody angry with me, you know? Like I used to say back in the day when I made my short films, I was like, bring it on haters, just come on, just just have at it, say what you, whatever you want at me, you know? It's because I found that as, uh, um, I was, I would, I would, I would entertain people even if they hated me because if they took the moment of their day to write something that I emotionally engaged them, even if it wasn't necessarily in the positive way, but because it was an art piece, that was because it was meant for judgment on whatever. But the vlogs weren't art pieces. The vlogs were my life, me. And when I put me out there and my soul and everything and, and people just, it just hurt me personally, you know, it's, it's not, it's not fun. It's not, it's not healthy for a human to have to go through. <laughs> like really think about it. Like, could you imagine like literally thousands of people every day just judging your life and, and you have to watch everything that you do and how you say things and how you hold yourself. You, you can't even like, you know, d drink coconut water without somebody possibly saying it's wrong. I don't know. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like you just have to be so careful about everything and, and how I'm parenting. And, and, uh, anyway, 
Where I'm getting to is I am not sorry for the changes that I've made. I know I've changed a lot, but you know what? So have you, all of you, everybody's changed in one way or another. If you've stayed the same, then it's time for change. Now you've got to experience life. You've got to do some other things. I am sorry to all of you for not sticking to one thing, I guess, like for not, for not being able to make you happy in the way that I wish I could have. I honestly, for the last 14 years on YouTube, 15, 14, I think 14 years on YouTube this year, uh, I, I have truly tried to, to make the world happy, but, but I know that I can't, I can't make the world everyone happy, but, but I'm glad for all of the moments and grateful for the moments that I was able to help any of you, even if it was just for a minute. This channel is, is different. It is, uh, Kristen, you know, obviously is now running the channel because my heart honestly has been broken so many times on this channel that it, it hasn't been fun for me. Um, and I've needed to step away so that I could put my heart where it belongs. And right now, truthfully, my heart is in this stuff. I'm working on a new Just For Kids video. And I know some of you guys think my kids' videos are creepy. And that's okay. I get it. You don't have kids. So you don't understand. But my, but my daughter, she does not think it's creepy. She loves it. And I hear from so many parents and teachers and just... I know that what I'm doing is right because my heart says so. Regardless of what anybody says. But I will say, I'm really excited about this because I have a cartoon coming out which is my own thing. Huh? I, got a, I got a whole plan, but I'm not going to get into that. See, I get really excited about things. And uh, as far as Mean Kitty goes, I am doing a, re a relaunch on that channel because my heart is in that channel. I've always just kind of had an issue because I'll be honest with you, I'm not, I'm not really a cat person. Like, like I don't, you know, I'm not like, oh my gosh, I need to see your cats. You know, like I just, I love my cats and I happen to have some really crazy cats. Um, but you know, it's, it's, it's never been my number one prime focus. I love telling stories with my cats though. I will say that I love it so much. And, and they're just like my little subjects that I can tell really fun stories with. So that's how I have fun with that. And that's why these two channels have been my main, but I hope you understand where I'm at right now. I, I just needed to tell you this stuff because I know a lot of you, uh, well, not a lot of you, a small, a small number of you have been coming to my other channels, to my Instagram posts, to everything I've been doing to tell me how much you're angry at me and how much you hate me for certain things. And I know, I know that you don't necessarily hate me for changing and, and for becoming the man that I've become. I've been this man. It's just that as time has changed, I've grown. I'm almost 40, guys. <laughs> when I started this YouTube stuff, I was, I was 25 years old. 24? 24. I was 24 years old. I was a stuntman. I was Mr. Safety, professional idiot. And I was doing a lot of crazy things. And I said way back then, I said, I will never change. I'll never stop being me. And that's what I meant by I will ne never change. And to this day, I have never changed. I have always been me. I've never put on a fake personality. I've never been, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, I've never been fake, but that is a lie. Because <laughs> you can't tell good stories without being just a little fake. Um, especially on my short film channels. And um, going back to fake, uh, <laughs> since I'm being so open and since you have sat through, I don't know how many minutes of this, me just talking and, and opening up with you. Um, obviously on this channel, I have tried many different things because I felt like the real me wasn't giving, making everyone happy. So there were times on this channel where yes, yes, I was putting on a show just to see what would happen because I don't, when, when you make so many people unhappy with your real life, sometimes you just want to put on a show. And yes, I, I could have done it over on SMP Films, but I don't know, I just, I, I just, my brain, I wanted to have fun and I apologize. But I don't because I had fun. <laughs> like the attic thing. It was an attic, I know, okay? I know it was an attic. I didn't know it was there, but I know it was an attic, but come on, having fun. Got a lot of views. <laughs> it went like it went viral on Facebook, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, are you serious?" I've I've, I've just been I, like for that while when I was making those like really um, artistic sort of vlogs, like 
I, my, my heart was really hurt. And so I was just trying to be creative and just to try something different, you know, to mix it up, to see. And, uh, you know, I made good decisions and bad decisions, but it's funny that like all of those videos ended up actually doing really well. But anyway, I apologize for that. <laughs> At least I'm coming clean, you know, and, um, there were a lot of things that were real though. Like I said, it was, it was like a mixture of storytelling and reality. Like I didn't know that the, the attic was there. Um, I noticed the window, but I'd never like looked up there and stuff. And the safe thing was real. I know that sounds crazy. A lot of people are like, well, that wasn't real. I'm like, no, 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 that, that was actually real. What else was, what else was it? I think that's about it for all that stuff. Oh, by the, oh yes. I never actually sent my child up way up in the air. We uh, holding balloons. That was fake, <laughs> but you knew that because I showed that. I'm just being goofy right now. I just want to be real. I'm, I, this is this is me, guys. This is me. I'm not, I'm not putting on a show. I'm just talking. Yeah. How do you like my new camera, by the way? I love this camera. <laughs> I, just, I was like, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this with like good quality. I'm just gonna talk and and have my my peace. So. Love me or hate me, I'm Mr. Safety. That's what I've always said. I'll always be Mr. Safety. Deep down here, this is the creative side of me, Mr. Safety. But Corey Williams, that's my real name. Although, my middle name is different than I thought it was when I... When... <laughs> okay, going too far. Thanks for watching, guys. I don't care if you enjoyed today's video, but I hope you got something out of it. How's that sound? Is that good? <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Later. Oh, I did it.